A picture of the queen. Brandon Parker is 14. He has got brown hair, green eyes, and a small nose. He has got a sister, too. Her name is Roxanne, but everybody calls her Rox. It is August. Brandon and Rox are staying at their grandmother's house in Brighton. One Sunday, Brandon looks at his bicycle. It is very, very old. I need a new one, he says. But the question is how? New bikes are so expensive. It's all right for you, says Rox. I haven't got a bike at all. At that moment Gran opens the back door. T, she says. Brandon and Rox go into the house. Gran, says Brandon at T. Do you know how I can make a lot of money? Gran smiles at him. Why do you ask? He wants to buy a new bike, says Rox. Oh, I see. Gran thinks for a minute. Then she says, I know. What? asks Brandon. A magazine called Palace is on the table. Gran opens it. Look, she says. There's a competition here and the first prize is $500. Brandon looks at the magazine. Send us a photo of you and the queen together. He reads. Together, says Rox. Brandon looks at Gran. But I don't understand, he says. How do people know where the queen's going to be? That's easy, says Gran. It tells you every week in the magazine. She turns to page 67 of Palace. Look. Here we are. Tomorrow she's going to a horse show near here. On Wednesday she's going to see a film, and on Friday she's going to open a new hospital. Brandon looks at Rox. What do you think, he asks. Rox smiles, I think you can buy two new bikes for $500, she says. The next day is Monday. There is a horse show near Brighton and the Queen is going to be there at 11 o'clock. Brandon and Rox leave at 10 o'clock. Now have a clock. Now have you got everything? asks Gran. Camera? Sandwiches? Umbrella? Coffee? Money? Brandon looks at the sky. Yes, Gran, he says. All right, then, have a nice time, says the old lady. Rock smiles. Thanks, Gran, she says. Brighton Station is only five minutes away from Gran's house. Brandon and Rox walk there. Okay, which train do we want? asks Brandon. The 10.18, says Rox. They arrive at the horse show just after 11 o'clock. There are lots of people. Can you see the queen? asks Rox. No, I can't. Says Brandon. He looks left and right. Then he stops. Yes, I can, he says. Look. She's over there. He is right. The queen is standing next to a horse. Have you got the camera? asks Brandon. Yes. Rox takes it out of her bag. Come on, 
says Brandon. He smiles. This is going to be easy. But at that moment, three very tall men stand in front of him and rocks. We want to take a photo of the queen, says Brandon. Is that okay? No, says one of the men. He puts his face near Brandon's. It's not. Rox looks at Brandon. It is starting to rain. Come on. She says. Let's go home. We're not going to get a photo today. We can try again on Wednesday. The Queen's going to see a film in London, remember? Wednesday arrives. Brandon and Rox take a train to London. They get to the Odeon Cinema, Leicester Square at 7.15. In Palace Magazine it says, the film starts at 7.30. There are hundreds of people outside the cinema. Everyone is waiting to see the Queen. Her car arrives at 7.25. Okay, says Brandon. Are you ready? Rock smiles and says, yes. The car stops. The Queen gets out. Everyone starts to move. Now. Says Brandon, but suddenly Rox cannot see anything. She puts the camera above her head. Click. But she only gets a picture of Brandon's right ear. Now it is Friday afternoon. Brandon and Rox are outside a new hospital in London. Brandon is carrying lots of red roses. At 2.30 he is going to give them to the Queen. At that moment, Rox is going to take a photo. Just before two o'clock the hospital doors open. What's happening, says Brandon. Someone comes out. It is a tall man with gray hair. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, he says. Everyone is quiet. The man looks at his shoes. Then he looks at all the people in front of him. I'm afraid I've got some bad news, he says. The queen has a cold and can't be with us today. That's it, says Brandon. He gives the roses to a woman beside him. Here, he says, you can have these. Then he walks down the street. He is very angry. Rox follows him. Two minutes later she stops. Brandon looks behind him. What are you doing? he asks. Rox is standing in front of a big building. I've got an idea, she says and smiles. Now Brandon looks at the building, too. It is Madame Tussauds. An idea, he says. Yes. Rox takes his arm. Come on, she says. Let's go in. Brandon follows her. But why, he asks. I don't understand. Don't ask questions. Just follow me, says Rox. There are lots of famous people in Madame Tussauds. Pop stars, sports stars, world leaders. Suddenly, Brandon sees the British royal family. Now do you understand? asks Rox. Yes, says Brandon and starts to laugh. He stands next to the queen. Smile, says Rox. 
Her brother smiles. Click. Rox takes a photo. But at that moment someone shouts, Hey! What are you two doing? It is a Madame Tussauds guard and he is very angry. You can't take photos like that in here, he says. Come on. Give me that camera. Now. Rox looks at Brandon. What do we do, she asks. Run, says Brandon. They start to run. The guard follows them. Come back here, he shouts. But Brandon and Rox do not stop. Two weeks later, Gran is talking to her neighbor, Mrs. Clark. They are both looking at Palace Magazine. Out in the garden, Brandon and Rox are riding their new bikes. What a beautiful photo, says Mrs. Clark. And how wonderful for you to have a grandson who knows the Queen. Does he know her well? No, not very well, says Gran. She smiles. More tea, Mrs. Clark. <laughs>